transient response in RC series circuit with sans exaggeration. The RC series circuit is shown here, where the voltage V is equals to Vm sine omega t plus pi. It's an AC excitation or sans excitation. Applying KVL for this circuit, you are going to get I R plus 1 by C integral I dt equals to the voltage V that is Vm sine omega t plus phi. That is equation 1. Then differentiating on both sides, you are going to get d by dt of i r plus i by c equals to omega vm cos omega t plus phi. Now, dividing with the r, you are going to get, consider this d by dt as p i plus i divided by rc equals to omega vm divided by r cos of omega t plus phi. Let this be equation number 2. So the current i is given by the complementary function ic plus the particular solution ip. Let this be equation number 3 where the complementary function ic equals to the constant k multiplied by the power of minus t by rc. Now let us find out the particular function ip. So let ip equals to a cos omega t plus phi plus b sine omega t plus phi. Then differentiating on both sides, you are going to get d by dt of ip. We can write as p is d by dt, p ip equals to differentiating this minus omega a sine omega t plus phi plus omega b cos omega t plus let this be question number 4 and 5. Now, substituting 4 and 5 in 2, assuming i equals to ip, then you are going to get pi is nothing but pip, that is minus omega a sine omega t plus phi plus omega b cos omega t plus phi plus 1 by rc of i, i from fourth equation that is a cos omega t plus phi plus b sine omega t plus phi equals to omega vm by r of cos omega t plus phi. Separating the sine and cos terms and equating them, we are going to get minus omega a plus b by rc, the sine term equals to 0, the cos term is a by rc plus omega b equals to omega vm by r. Now let us try to solve this too. Then a equals to b by rc of 1 by omega. Substitute the value of a in this expression. You are going to get b by rc omega multiplied by rc plus omega b equals to omega vm by r. Now taking omega by r square b common r square plus 1 by omega square c square equals to omega vm by r omega omega r square r then b equals to vm r divided by r square plus 1 by omega c whole square this is b now you got the constant b as r vm by r square plus 1 by omega whole square now Substitute that b to get the value of constant a, then r vm divided by r square plus 1 by omega c whole square 1 by omega rc. r r gets cancelled, then a equals to vm divided by r square plus 1 by omega c whole square multiplied by 1 by omega c. Now, substitute the value of a and b in the equation number 4, then you are going to get ip equals to vm divided by omega c of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square cos omega t plus phi plus r vm by r square plus 1 by omega c whole square sine omega t plus phi. Taking vm by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square common then the remaining terms are 1 by omega c of square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square cos omega t plus phi plus r 
divided by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square sin omega t plus 5. Now consider a rectangle triangle with r as the same side and uh, 1 by omega c as opposite side that is with theta and this will be this side will be r square plus 1 by omega c whole square. Now from this sin theta equals to 1 by omega c square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square and cos theta equals to r by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square then theta equals to tan inverse of 1 by omega rc from this you can write this value as sin theta and this value as cos theta now this is in the form of sin a cos b cos a sin b now ip equals to vm divided by root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square of sin a plus b that is omega t plus phi plus theta where theta you know so ip equals to we can write vm divided by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square sin of omega t plus phi plus tan inverse of 1 by omega cr now substitute the value of ip and ic in the equation number 3 then the net current i is given by k e to the power of minus t by rc plus ip is vm divided by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square of sine of omega t plus phi plus tan inverse of 1 by omega cr now at t equals to 0 the capacitor c acts as short circuit then the initial current i will be i naught vm by r of sine phi as the t is 0 to find the constant k at t equals to 0 that is vm divided by r at the time t equals to the constant k e to the power of minus 0 by rc plus vm divided by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square of sine of omega t t equals to 0 0 so phi plus tan inverse of 1 by omega cr now from which the k is given by this term will be equal to 1 so k equals to this one minus this one that is vm by r sine phi minus vm by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square sine of phi plus tan inverse of 1 by omega cr is our constant k. Now substitute the value of k in the our equation then the net current i is given by vm by r sine phi minus vm divided by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square of sine of phi plus tan inverse of 1 by omega c r this is constant k multiplied by e to the power of minus t by r c plus the second term is ip that is vm divided by square root of r square plus 1 by omega c whole square of sine omega t plus phi plus tan inverse of 1 by omega c r this is the final solution of the net current i the first term being a transient with the decay factor of e to the power of minus t by rc and the second term of this equation is the steady state current which leads the applied voltage by angle of tan inverse of 1 by omega cr this is regarding transient response in rc series circuit with transcendental excitation if this video is useful please like share and subscribe thank you